let's solve this radical equation. So the way the equation sits, we can go ahead and just square both sides to eliminate the radical. So we're left with, now let's expand this x plus 3 squared. We've got x squared plus 3x plus 3x. So x squared plus 6x plus 3 times 3. Now let's bring the 9x and the 19 to this side. And we have 6x minus 9x is minus 3x. 9 minus 19 is minus 10. Now let's solve this quadratic equation. We can factor this. Minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3, and minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. So x is equal to 5, and x is equal to minus 2. But with radical equations, we always need to plug the answers into the original equation, because the process of squaring both sides could result in extraneous solutions. Let's first test x is equal to 5. Okay, and 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, so x is equal to 5 is a solution. Now let's test x is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1, so x is equal to minus 2 is also a solution. 